Lesson 4.7 Transformations of Polynomial Functions. Woohoo! More transformations! Alright, let's do some review because we've had transformations several times. A translation is our first type of transformation. It moves or shifts the graph. And you know it by this H or the K. H moves the graph left or right. When it's X minus H, if H is positive, it goes right. K moves it up and down. Remember, H is in the X direction, K is in the Y direction. And anything in the X direction is in parentheses with the X. Anything in the Y direction is outside of the parentheses. Okay, we also have reflections, which flip the graph over a line. And here, this is outside the parentheses, so it f goes in the Y direction and over the X axis. It goes up and down. Here, when it's inside of the parentheses, it goes left and right over the Y axis. The third type of transformation is a stretch or a shrink, which, well, stretches or shrinks the graph. If the A is not in parentheses, it's a vertical stretch. If it's in parentheses, it's a horizontal stretch, but it's by the reciprocal. It's kind of backwards, but anyway, if we have a B here, the stretch is by 1 over B. All right, so let's describe the transformations of f of x equals x cubed represented by g of x. Well, what do we see? Uh, we're subtracting inside of the parentheses, so that's our h. So remember, it's x minus h, so h is 3. And this is outside, adding or subtracting, so that's our k. So k is a negative 1. Basically, if it's inside parentheses with the x, it's the opposite of whatever it was. So we are going to shift right 3, and we'll shift down, because it's negative 1. Let's try another one. All right, I see two things. I see this. It's in parentheses with the x, and it's multiplied. So that means it's a stretch. Since it's in the parentheses with the x, it is horizontal. And remember, it is by the reciprocal. So 1 divided by 0 0.5 is 2. So it's a horizontal stretch by factor of 2. And then this is on the outside. It's adding that is a k. A k is a shift. It's positive, so it's going to go up 2. So it has a horizontal stretch by a factor of 2, so it's twice as wide. And it's shifted up two spaces. All right, let's go the other way. This time we're going to be given the function and um, tells us what to do with it. So here it is negative f of x. And here's the f of x. So we're going to stick a negative in front of the entire f of x. Distribute the negatives. It'll be negative x to the fourth. They become plus x cubed. They become plus 1. And remember, what's that do to our graph? It's on the outside, so that is a reflection over the x-axis. They didn't ask us for that, but that's what it is. Let's try another one. 
where we want a vertical shrink by a factor of a half. Vertical shrinks are in front, we're multiplying. Okay, so this is our vertical shrink. So distribute the half. One half times two is one. Then followed by a translation four units down. All right, translating four units down means I'm going to add a k to the end or subtract a k, so I'll subtract four from the end. And there we are. Right, let's try another one. The function uh, v of x equals x cubed represents the volume of a cube with edge length x. The function w of x equals v of 1 twelfth x represents the volume of when x is measured in inches. Write a rule for w. All right, so notice uh, we are multiplying the x by 1 twelfth. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to plug it into my v. Because that's in parentheses, so anything that's in the parentheses in functional notation replaces the x. So just replacing the x. I'm replacing the x. So replace the x with 1 twelfth x. Then we just have to cube that. So 1 cubed is 1, and 12 cubed is 1, 7, 2, 8 and then x cubed. So that is our volume in inches. Now we're supposed to find and interpret when it's 96, so we'll plug in a 96. So it'll be 1 over 1, 7, 2, 8, 96 cubed punch that in the calculator, you get 512. And that was our volume in inches, so it would be inches cubed. My mistake. It says up here it's in cubic feet. Our input is in inches, but the output is in feet, so it's cubic feet.